Ok, on a couché, couché, on a cabo. These are the World Body Better Pass Gentry program na the 58th session this. And today na Dr. Christian Bell na in the present to me. And as well as can see na endometriosis now they deal with today. I know lie, I have not been know this name before he put them up. However, we don't get a glimpse of the situation that we can happen in this case. We will not be ever noticing as well a name. And I tell on a plane, when I get book team for land today, when I will join, I'm not going to get them. Today now, Sunday, the 9th of October. Today is Sunday, the 9th of October, 2022. And my name, Latimu John Fuller. Me, not a medical consultant, uh, me, an uh, IT consultant, uh, the IT and cyber and information security. I don't know anything about medicine, but we get people, they will not learn book, we get a lot of experience, they go take one through the sessions then, okay? Now, come they say, um, this group, nobody knows, so they get paid. We only do our normal because we want to help people them. So, um, dear. And if other people get ways for lead, they make this rich people then back home who ask it, they are lead and get in touch. I don't see people, people don't get in touch in the past, but um, as things stand at the moment, then while lead, we pay. And because we not get funding for that, um, so we decide to say no, it not going to be right now, it not going to be the best time for low pay. But if any radio station or TV station, they want to stream and for, you know, want to stream a live or the recorded version, we're happy for giving to people there for free. Okay, but we know not to get paid. We only do one because of one benefit to people in back home. Okay. Okay, as I've been saying before, um, this is a day available on YouTube, Facebook, and also we get a WhatsApp number if you want to reach out to me with any questions, suggestions, or feedback. Feel free. I will also share with a um, WhatsApp group the link if you want to join the WhatsApp group. Um, not a group where you be able to talk boku boku, or not a group where boku talk the day. Normally, the doctors and we will share information where they feel say will be beneficial for the group people, people within the group, or information we relating to the program. Nothing else, not a post. They so not forget to say if I join and then go we'll begin put boku boku stuff where maybe you know some people are not collect. Okay. Now the last bit, um, now how you give us question where that towards the end, I will go through this again at the end. Um, is that if you look at it, your phone. In tablet, you see this kind of display. So if you look at the bottom here, you can see three sign. You click on them, you give a chat. Like I go chat on Facebook or WhatsApp. You can send me a message, you know, whether a compliment or feedback, you know, suggestions or maybe a question we want to ask. You can use that for, for type, I mean. And if you want to ask question, you can use this function here for AC and up. However, if you're not able to do all of this, feel free for AC and up physically if I see you. I will come to you. Dear, if I'm bold, if I not come to you quick, you know, miss I know you just mean say maybe I not see you quick, and I make I not come to you. But once I notice you, I will make sure say I come to you for the able to ask you question. Okay. But also, if you're in an environment where noisy and you want to ask question, feel free for use the chat. Um, let I not take up much time. Um, I can pass on that to the Agbag by himself, uh, Doctor Bell. Like I say, believe me, when I not day for a treat, and I wish you all the very best. And I hope say when I all go stay on. Please feel free for pass the invites to other people that will then join me. Okay, thank you very much. Over to you, Dr. Bell. Yeah, I'll unmute you. Yeah, I'll try for unmute you if you press stand it, please. There you go. Yes, and also the same page, huh? Yes, yes. Okay, so when I push my family, them, um, my name is uh, Christian Bell, as uh, Mr. Fuller don't say, I mean, uh, a member of the Rebel Body Better Pasjenski group. Um, I mean, uh, of, my specialty in obstetric and gynecology, and it's also specialty in uh, reproductive medicine and gynecological endocrinology. Um, and they talk today about endometriosis. Yeah, endometriosis that affects a lot of women them um, in the world, and Boko people don't know about them. And so I decided to like, just give this um, talk and inform with people in a salon waiting for this disease and um, how women will be able to get help. Um, I will first talk, I will first define endometriosis, retinal endometriosis. I will talk about the prevalence and the impact of endometriosis. I will talk about the location outside this endometriosis in Sodom. And through that, outside in Sodom, you know the symptoms that the woman will get. I will talk about how you're able for 
diagnosum and either for treatment. And then in, in, in endometriosis can also affect um, infertility and mental health. I'll also talk about Dandy. Then I will talk about, I will give now um, the take home message. Um, but before we go on, I'll go look for um, Shona a video we did on um, the African Endometriosis Awareness Group website. Um, I will talk about this group later on. Um, but I just want to show that this video, yeah, so it's just on our, on our BM in a two minutes, 50 seconds, um, because it's very, very important for me to see this video. So before we continue to talk. Um, Dr. Bell, we need no one is here. You know, the we need you when you see the video, never. You need to see the video? No, you have to put the video on the same page you saw the presentation day. Move them across inside the presentation. But we need the sound, never. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. I'll just go back to the presentation and then maybe. If I just go down to the page. Okay, I think so it will work now. I go on the page. This is the website. Um, I will I'll I'll, I'll talk about the website later on. And then this is the video. Are they here now? No. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can go for now. You know you get on? No. I hear you sound can't through just now. I don't know if I feel better. I don't, I don't, I don't know why it's not the connection. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we hear the sound now, but we see the video still. My name okay. is Ada. I grew up like video. Video. Would you see the video? When my life changed completely. So if you go to share again and choose okay. the video, if you're able to. I was calling school every Stop five share. or six days in the morning. Go to share again and choose the video. The page inside the video there. My period thing. When you see the, the website right now? Would you see your presentation page? So if you stop for share, then you go back to share, then you choose the side of the video they then for you to see the video. Oh, okay. All go right. back to share, yeah. So, share this. Mm -hmm. You see the page now? There we go, yes. All like right. you go to the video, you play and move for share, yes. Sorry guys. Um, Before long, my absence started affecting my grades, participation and access. Okay. Thank you. My name is Ada. I grew up like any normal girl until I turned 15 when my life changed completely. From 15, I was calling school every five to six days in a month to be absent due to my period pain. And before long, my absence started affecting my grades, participation and activities. My family, Friends and teachers could not understand why I was always excusing myself from most things. Many people thought I was simply lazy and spoiled, as they could not understand why my period pains were different from others. The struggle with pain resulted in me isolating myself from social activities. I also struggled with classwork, as I often missed too much classes and assignments. I really wanted to obtain a master's degree in law. But I had to stop, as I could not manage the commitment it required. Luckily, I got a partner during this time of my life, 
But intimacy was often difficult, and I was also in mood swings as I was living on medications. We decided to start a family when I turned 29. And after a year of trying, I sought help and was ultimately diagnosed with endometriosis. As much as we tried, I never managed to conceive and the difficulties my partner and I experienced finally led to our divorce. I was seeking relief from chronic pain after 10 surgical procedures. I underwent total hysterectomy. I wonder where I would be if I had been diagnosed and treated earlier in life. Would I have become a lawyer? Would I have had an intimate, fulfilling marriage? Could I have been trained for a half marathon? Could I have had children, maybe grandchildren? So that's the video. Now go back to the presentation. So we found them. Um, it's very important um, for me to bear in mind this video I so I don't show um, where we go through endometriosis. And what before we talk about endometriosis, um, I mean, give a, a talk um, last year, November, on basic reproductive medicine and infertility. They have been talking about the male reproductive organ, I talk about the female reproductive organ, I talk about the, uh, the woman in menstrual cycle. And then, they're very important also, we will talk about endometriosis. So, I will just talk briefly about the female reproductive organ and the um, uh, menstrual cycle. Um, the female reproductive organ consists of the vagina, the vagina that is that the place where the man can insert in, in penis. And then you get the cervix, the cervix that they enter into the uterus, into the womb. Um, you get the ovary, the ovary that they, the egg and store, the egg and store inside small, small bubble that we will call follicle. And then you get the fallopian tube, the fallopian tube, they um, transport the sperm for reach the egg. And then when the egg fertilizes for transport this, the egg for cut inside the uterus. And then the, the egg will attach, now what they call the endometrium. Yeah, the endometrium and the lining with the, na the uterus. And this lining yaso, na in the woman, the, the surface one, the woman, they always bleed when it is in period. Yeah, the, and they bleed sometimes, uh, usually in our 28 days, but um, you can say normal now from the 24, if you take 24 days or you talk to 35 days, then it's normal. But you get some woman anyway, then then period irregular. You get some woman then they way um then they, then they see them period for three four months, but a regular period now a twenty eight day period. And what they happen then um, during that same day? And um, you get hormones them we are usually call messenger. The messenger them they, they they stimulate the ovary for make the ovary um activate one of them bubble there. The bubble they increase in size and the egg within inside it, they they become mature. And around that bubble there, we get what we call the granulosa cells. The granulosa cells, then, and then they produce the woman hormone. The woman hormone, they call an estrogen or the estradiol. So the estradiol, they increase. And because the estradiol, they increase, it they activate the endometrium with the inside the uterus, inside the womb, for make it grow. So it become thick, 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 for thick to around then six to eight to 10 millimeters. And then when the follicle reach a size of about two centimeters, then they get another messenger where they come to, to, the, to the ovary for, for tell the um, follicle say, let it boss. So in the boss, now that, that boss with the boss, now what they call ovulation, it release the egg. And then this follicle, they transform into what we call the yellow body. The yellow body, instead they produce another messenger when they call progesterone, progesterone, that means it, it, it support pregnancy, and that progesterone day, now in the, it they stimulate or they activate or they change, they transform the endometrium for make the endometrium accept the egg we're gonna fertilize. But if the egg not fertilize, 
then the yellow body they disintegrate, they disappear, and because the yellow body disappear, the progesterone they decrease, and when the progesterone decrease, the woman they bleed. So that then I end the cycle. But the main thing one are supposed to know is you get this thing also called endometrium, now like a carpet really inside the um, inside the womb, and a day the egg they attach with the woman will get to belly. So waiting at endometriosis. Endometriosis now when you get that carpet-like tissue, that endometrium-like tissue outside the uterus. Yeah. And you get three important words then. Chronic, inflammatory, systemic. Chronic means say you man get them and you get them, you know they go. Inflammatory say it cause inflammation. Yeah, just like somebody, if somebody gets an allergic reaction, yeah, something like that day. It will create some outside, outside that endometrium-like tissue day. It creates an inflammation, and then it can cause for you to get pain. And systemic means it can be all over the body. It concentrated in one particular area, we will come to later, but it can be all over the body. And just the way how the woman woman, that, endomet that, that, that um, ostrogen, they stimulate the endometrium inside the womb. Uh, so instead of they stimulate this endometrium-like tissue, we go there all over the body. So I make most women them with the suffer from this disease here. So now the woman them within the reproductive age. Yeah, theoretically speaking, the woman they with the see them period. You get woman them we not begin see them period. Young titty they will not begin see them period. We still can get the pain. And you get woman them we don't left for see them period. We don't reach 50, 60. We still self can, can get endomet uh, endometriosis. But mainly, mostly now woman them within the reproductive age can suffer from this disease here. So. We don't actually know um, how this, the, the, this disease, the, the origin of this disease. They get different, different theory. I don't go through all the theory then for them. And they were one for read and again for read them. But the one main thing I want to know is that, yes, we know, say, if somebody in the family gets them, the risk for make other person, the risk for make you get them in your family, like seven times higher than others. So that means that there is a genetic factor. Um, we we never they, they try to find out with that genetic factor, but um, they don't find some 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 some, some, some genes then, but you know really clear yet. Yeah. But as I say, chronic, inflammatory, systemic, and also estrogen dependent. One out of ten women then get endometriosis. One out of ten women. And their woman, they will try to forget belly. We don't even forget belly. Half of them get endometriosis. Now, so that much people them get endometriosis. And then they estimate say about 190 million women them around the world, they suffer from endometriosis. And that's a lot. And it impacts their life a lot. It impacts their quality of life. It impacts their physical functioning. It impacts, it reduces their daily activities, their social life. It affects the education, it affects the work in the workplace, it affects the sexual life, it affects the mental health, it affects the emotional well being as well. And you know, they only affect the woman there with the endometriosis, it also they affect partners, family, friends, and also co workers. And it also they impact society as well, yeah, especially when it comes to, to, to healthcare costs, yeah, not just like a, if person get diabetes or arthritis, as I said, Jordan down there, so there's some chronic diseases and endometri endometriosis, not just like a then disease there so as well. Um, most of the women them with the suffer from endometriosis get endometriosis at the bottom belly. Now the main area that the way endometriosis can be. And um, you get, I will, I, will, I, will, I will say they get three different kinds of endometriosis. Yeah, you get the one when they call it surface endometriosis, what we call patches, and like, it's like a patches. And then you get the one that we get inside the, inside the, um, um, the ovary, where they inside capsule, yeah, then they call it cyst. And um, then cyst, then they, where if you open her up, it, the fluid, the liquid where they come out, um, fiber chocolate. Um, now everything you call a chocolate cyst. And then you get nodules, you get um, endometriosis making the between, between tissues them. And if you did between tissues them, we go call a nodule. Something you for touch them, you need for fill them. And we go call a nodule. So you get the patches, you get the cyst, and they get the nodules. So then get in at the ovaries, now the ovaries, then get there as patches on the surface of the ovaries, or then get there as cysts in the ovary as well. Then get in at the fallopian tube. Fallopian tube, as I said, at the tube, where they, where they transport the sperm and the egg. 
then get there as patches by the spam, by the, by the, by the um, fallopian tube. Then you get the rope with the hole, the uterus, you can dip on the rope there, you can dip in the space behind the uterus, you can dip in the space before the, in front of the uterus, yeah, you can dip in um, the surface of the uterus, but you can also dip inside the uterus wall. They get special name for them, they call it adenomyosis uteri, with the inside the, inside the muscle of the, of the womb. Um, that are the most, that are the most common area where they can dip. Then they can also dip like in the gut, yeah, then can dip in the surface, the patches, then can dip in the gut, then can then at the rectum, then can then at the bladder, then can then at the cervix, the cervix are seen at the gateway for kind inside the for kind inside the womb. They get the vulva, the vulva at the gateway for kind inside the vagina. So they can then here and then there as well. And um, they can also do now the scar that the, if the woman gets kind abdominal scar, get a woman they will get um, cesarean section, yeah, CS. And if you don't get a CS day, that wound day, endometriosis, you can kind inside that wound day. And um, you know, you know, often so, but it can, it can happen. Say endometriosis, you can cancel that wound the inside the inside the wound there as as no dudes. But it can also there, for instance, now the now the, the lungs. It can then often endometriosis in the brain. Yeah, they can there the extremities as well. Then it can there with we call it this this this, this diaphragm. The diaphragm now the muscle where they separate the gut from the from the thorax from the from the outside the the, the heart and the and the lungs there, and that. That diaphragm day, um, he gets one nerve with the supply arm, and that same nerve day, then they supply the, sh um, the shoulder back. And um, that's important for know because when they talk about the symptoms of endometriosis, you have to understand, say, the symptoms get to do with outside them patches, then they outside them nodules, then they outside the cyst day. So, as I say, the most time it can be in the bottom belly. So, now you make the woman most times in the bottom belly pain it gets. Yeah, it can get severe periodic pain. When they see period, it gets pain. If the thing then at the rectum, it gets pain where they go number two, where they go to the toilet. If it then at the bladder, it will get pain where it go wet. If it then at the gut, it will get um, constipation, it will get diarrhea. If it then at the ovary or it then at the womb, you know, it might, might not even forget speaking. If it then at the vagina or it then at the cervix or it then at the vulva, um, you know, it will get pain when they get sexual intercourse. And if you didn't have the inside the wall of the uterus, the uterus, the, the womb will not be able to contract. Normally, when woman is in period, the womb they contract for make it stop the bleeding. So if the endometriosis or that adenomyosis uteri they inside the wall of the of the womb, and um, in order for contract the way I suppose to contract, so the woman will get heavy bleeding. So imagine woman they get all their symptoms there, so or most of their symptoms are once in four months. Anytime where they get them, that woman they not able to sleep. They will definitely get fatigue. And if they get a year in, year out, definitely at one particular point, it will get depression. Yeah? Woman they can get headache when they can get them pain in it. So woman they even vomit, so woman they collapse because of pain. And that sh this shoulder tip pain, as I say, the diaphragm, the same nerve where they supply the diaphragm and they supply back the shoulder. So they can get that shoulder tip pain. They can get chest pain, they can, they can, they can they cough blood, yeah, or they can get blood in their stool, or they can get blood in their urine as well, or the lung self can fall. So on 10 and day, if they cough, cough too much, the lung can fall, and then they have a life threatening so on 10 and day. And then, as I say, now that scar, especially like that, that cesarean section scar, it can swell, and a woman can get pain in the back. And all them pains, they, most times, them, now cyclical pains, them. Cyclic means say it come in a cycle. Whenever the woman is in period, now that time they, they see the pain. Then and most women, some women then they will not see pain at all. Yeah, they get endometriosis, but then they see the pain. And then the 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 the, the way how the endometriosis spread not correlates to the pain. You guess what woman then get beaucoup endometriosis when a when a um, when the woman can when you get when they forget picking you actually see they get that book book but you don't get pain at all you get some woman then a small small spot patches and patches no more than get and you get book 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 pain yeah but the one thing we really really interesting on another side of the video as well yeah from 15 years that woman don't suffer from endometriosis not 20 are we all 29 then they actually find out, say, again, endometriosis. And that can happen to most women. Then. It can take an average of 8 to 12 years before they even find out, say, that woman, they 
get um, endometriosis. So when they live, they, they, they want no life. They don't know. You get some, 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 some picking and can say, ah, the mama get a pain, then my sister get a pain, my sister get a pain, the pain for me with normal. No, I don't ever understand why my woman can always say pain normal. You know, pain not normal. You know, especially then severe pain, the pain then they, not normal. So now you make it very important for do the diagnostic. For no, first of all, you say, Make you always advise patient and say, make them always any picking. We don't start for C in period. Let it be mark on a calendar. You get special calendar, like for instance, the CRS um, fertility consultancy, we create calendar with the salon at the moment. We can even mark you, you, you period. You they mark where they bleed. If not one, um, if not small bleed, they bleed, you mark at one term. If not severe bleed, they bleed, you mark at three, they mark the almost days you they bleed. And each month you they mark them. And then you know if you mark um, the, the bleeding, you also they mark if you get vomiting, if you get a headache, if you get pain, if you get abdominal pain, if you mark on the back as well. So the first thing, we're very important, observe yourself. Secondly, um, go to doctor. Yeah, if you don't observe yourself a few months, you don't you don't mark that and uh -huh. you also not only get calendar, you also get app there now. Now, now nowadays technology, you get a lot of um, also um, free app themselves where you can use for do them for 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 mark you your period. Um, usually when patient they come to me, um, I get questionnaire where they give them, when they go mark what they ask the question, like if they get pain when they get sexual intercourse, you don't get sexual intercourse before or you know vagin, um, they get pain when they go in the toilet, you got pain when they wet, you get shoulder pain, you get headache. If they, if they ask the, the woman um, a lot of questions, them, I know say um, a lot of people like in, especially in a salon, um, when you give them questionnaire, they can say, ah, question them too long, too boku. But sometimes it's important for making the doctor know side you get the pain so you will know exactly which kind examination or which kind yeah which kind examination for doing so you get the clinical examination and um, sometimes we can do a vaginal examination and um, but then when a vagin you can advise not to do vaginal examination you could do rectal examination and digital examination um you can um, also touch the belly for see if the belly tender if the if outside the woman get the pain and then you get you get um ultrasound you can do vaginal ultrasound through the vaginal ultrasound you're able for see like that cyst when they talk about you know, sometimes it also sound really really good you therefore see the nodules they will go between the tissues them um you get mri you can for do mri um, then the self kings for, and then they kind of okay it's expensive and we um, can we can seldomly do them um, because we all ultrasound sound um, they really good here for for fending patches then then the noodles and disease but MRI you can do MRI as well but sometimes you need to see nothing because the woman are not only the patches thing yet and if not only the patches thing yet the best way for see that day now if you do a laparoscopy a laparoscopy means say okay. The woman get for sleep now operation way they do where they go through the the navel layer so they go on they watch now the under bed the, the bottom belly and um, with camera for see if they see the patches there anywhere now the uterus now the bladder now the lining now the uh, now the abdomen and then the advantage of this operation is that you also go able for treat um, the endometriosis yeah but i will come to that later so now the main examinations that the women can do, but then on the other hand as well, if the woman they, they see blood where they wet or they see blood where they go to the toilet or you get pain where they wet or you get pain where they go to the toilet, where they, where, they, where, they go, where they go number two, then they can watch inside the um, the blood the, the, the bladder with camera, they can watch inside the inside the gut also with camera. They get one blood value that we can do. Um, I put they call it um, cancer antigen 125. Um, I put question mark panam because we know they do it regularly, but um, we can advise people them for 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 see a trend. That, that blood values they now now blood values where we can do for detect um, um, ovarian cancer, for instance. But sometimes it can give we um, um, it can show we the direction we for go if the woman get endometriosis or not. But to get poko over woman them. We get endometriosis, but that blood value is not, not high at all. Um, where you do the operation, you get one way where they classify um, the, the, the endometriosis. Uh, you get the American Society of Reproductive Medicine and classification, where mostly at the surface endometriosis they classify. You get from 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 um, um, 
um, from minimal to, to severe, so than one, two, three, and four. And then you get the NCN classification. These are the table we then can use. We are the, the, the patches there and the deep endometrial to be able for, for, um, for classify them all together for making stages because the stage itself is important for know how you treat the patient there as well. And then we, within the reproductive medicine, we they look at what we call the endometriosis fertility index. The endometriosis fertility index, they combine what you see, the staging, plus the history of the woman. I mean, if almost the whole, um, if how long you don't try for, 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 for get picking, and if you don't get um, belly before. And then with the given score, with the given points, different, different points. And then at the end, you add up the points them, and then you get what we call the EFI score. So that need the help we for know who's kind of treatment for getting the, get the woman or what are the probability for making the woman get belem. So the one that will get the high score, then probability higher. And the one that will get then zero to three, you know, say, ah, the probability for making pregnant low. Then that they go able for know to tell you who's treatment you for getting the woman. Um, the treatment based on the woman in overall, overall health and uh, medical history. So that means say, if the woman gets diabetes, for instance, as well, or you get high blood pressure, you get for no there as well. You get for no the current symptoms where they get outside the woman, they get in pain, the extent of the disease, um, to that staging, what we don't do. Um, if the woman go to tolerate the treatment there, we get for GM, yeah, the expectation of the cause of, for the cause of the disease. And also we get for include the woman. Yeah, we always they include the woman for no way the woman you know, option and with nine preferences, especially if the woman won't get belly. Because you get some certain treatment that we get we will do, um, we not go make the woman get belly. So now you make you get for no if the woman in family planning is still there on the family planning or you don't you don't finish in family planning. Waiting at the treatment that we can um, advise, you get waiting called watchful waiting. And that watchful waiting, I don't like that word there at all because if woman don't come to me, um, Three, four, five years is a suffer. They may they go to and say, "Bole the watch and see." They ask me if I if I sober. But we get what we call the tender loving care. Yeah, we can tell the woman and say, "Okay, try for rest, try for relax." You don't want to able for, able for meditate. Get get the meditation where they do. Um, take one bath for prevent constipation. Regular exercises, or even if not for a walk, you go for self, get fresh air. It's also very important. And also, you can say he put hot water bottle like belay, but he also not nice for the water for too hot. I think do a lot of bone on the skin, but it can, sometimes it can help. It can relieve the pain a bit. When they get the painkillers, them the energetic will bring the patient to them. Mm. One who can use that is anti-inflammatory drugs, like a, like a ibuprofen, for instance. Um, they get different different doses. It depends on the size of the woman as well. Um, but now, now, now the main drug that they work in the gi, the main painkillers work in the gi patients them. Um, you get other painkillers them like a codeine based and painkillers them, but we can try for avoid that one in day because they can cause constipation. Um, the ibuprofen, um, especially if you take it regularly, it can also make you get uh, so stomach pain. So they can advise better than say, okay, take away the way they take and drink milk or take away the eat or we, we just don't for eat. Or um, they get other medication that we can use. We can try for protect, protect the protect the belly. Uh, we then call it like omeprazole or the pantoprazole where we can give patients them for, um, for make, you know, actually affect the, the stomach. And we can always advise patients and say, when I try, and I make it nice for me, when I don't mark on a period, so that they know exactly when I say on a period. And it's important to say, when I don't wait till when I don't begin to see a period, till when I begin to see the pain before I take the meds. When I take the, med, the pain one or two days before, yeah, preferably even one day before, because especially if you are a cycle regular, so you don't know exactly when you see period, then you don't, take the, you don't begin to take the, the medication one day before. Um, the other group of uh, medication we can give patients now uh, hormone hormone treatment medication them um, I don't go too much in details but um, then very effective yeah the get the combined hormonal contraceptive the normal pill normal contraceptive where women they take with they want with they want for bone picking then they say if you can use for endometriosis uh, you get you get you get someone that we not support for use but um, generally you can use them and then I did like the first line where people then can use. 
and um, 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 some people them I don't know if I don't know if they even salon, but it can sometimes people they can say oh and um, they, they can they, nah, nah, they can st stigmatize the patient say oh um, the mama getting fifteen year old picking um, you know and getting fifteen year old picking contraceptive because then they go look funny but that is definitely the app the the picking for making not get pain remember that picking where they go to school always gets away where they get pain in no way for concentrating at school so this treatment go go help them a lot um then gets um i've been talking about that progesterone so you get um progest um progesterone again um only contraceptive that means say now nah, just one part um um the progesterone partner in normal day now then the more we can they use for endometriosis patient them and then they, you get some drugs them with, with specifically the makeup for endometriosis when I we can use and then you get um some device that we can put inside the uterus and salon we may call the coil but the coil you know the na the, na the copper one and you get the other one then we get the progestin pandem where they release the progestin inside the uterus and then it's app for a woman them we get the that adenomyosis uterus we get that and the endometriosis inside the wall and the advantage of that day is that you put her inside the, the womb and you left hand day. You left hand day for, um, you get one day for three years, for five years. Yeah, but if you take the contraceptive, you get for the take her regularly every day, especially the project, uh, the project again, um, only contraceptive. You're not supposed to forget them. You for being disciplined and get for take her. So that's when you can, can among Boko people them where they can stop that medication there because they're not disciplined enough for take them. Then you get what we call the gonadotropin releasing hormone uh, agonists and antagonists. Uh, the antagonists are new drugs that we don't can now. The agonists, then they day now injection them with the ghee. The advantage for that injection, they now one time for one time for month. You guess other one they went now one time for three months. So now I'm saying we don't give that patient that one injection for three months. Then okay, very effective, but you actually they push the woman into what we call the um, the menopause. We had that woman there when after 50 minutes they see them period again, we they push the woman into that area there. Um, but we they call them uh, 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 um, pseudo um, um, menopause because it's irreversible. It, it, it that means if you stop the medication, the woman will begin seeing period back. But as I say, very expensive. But the woman they can always get the symptoms. Them with the woman, them we get we, we don't get inside menopause. They get they get a hot flash. Yeah, they can get problem with them bone. Them bone can weak. So now I make with advice patient and say three to six months, not longer, and then you change it now to the um, purchase to gain only contraceptives. You get the aromatase inhibitor, then they actually just reduce the um, the estrogen level in the body, and um, with people only use them that much. So the one who they use more than the purchase uh, purchase to gain only contraceptive or this GnRH agonist them. And as I don't say, laparoscopy, yeah, laparoscopy, uh, especially when you the you the um, hope for go see them patches them you're able to remove them patches them then they are also there are then deep then the noodles them and the deep endometrial system you can able to remove down there as well but then there are some major major operation and um what you can see is on a young from that woman in video where you make 10 10 and operate them you know to um, um, your opinion is you not necessary for operate woman in that much yeah, and um, the one if if, if for do the operation one term can go for at least see the endometriosis, remove them because as I said, in an inflammatory disease. So that means say if you pull them patches, then they you they reduce the inflammation, especially for women they will one get speaking that period they will don't reduce the inflammation, it can help them for making it get pregnant. So this is now the gold standard. This now we can say um um we for do unfortunately um, to me knowledge i don't know if we get that in a salon um but it go nice um if we're able for in the near future get this as well because this is actually the gold standard where we advise patients and for do um you get what you call laparotomy i put that in brackets because I mean, they, we need to do that much anymore. Laparotomy, okay, country, when we get the laparoscopy, the, the, the camera, um, we can do the laparotomy. Laparotomy now, you actually they cut the woman in belly, just like we go do for the cesarean section. 
um, and then you watch inside and then you pull the pull the patches them and some people then can do under they can um, do the laparotomy if you want go pull pull the deep 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 endometriosis the way they inside the, the tissues them a major major operation that day and um and get immune immune camp I can always say it's not that necessary for doing a major operation in the day, especially when you get the, the hormone treatment. So if woman not the um, no one's picking anymore, you don't don't finish, you don't close the family planning, and you see this heavy bleeding, very heavy bleeding when for control, um, and that can affect women them a lot. Then people can decide so okay, we what we call the ultima ratio. I'm saying if nothing, nothing, nothing else not help. Then it's okay, well, then remove the womb and then call hysterectomy. But removing the womb, you know, watch, when I watch the, 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 when I watch the video, the woman says, talk and say, at the end of the day, they begin for pull a womb. But when you pull that womb day, okay, it will stop the bleeding, but in order to stop the endometriosis, the woman still get the endometriosis. When I therefore still get, remember that, say, in order to stop the endometriosis, it might still get the, the pain because it still they produce estrogen and the patches then will still be at the belly or somewhere else. So most likely it will still need a hormone therapy. And if you get the cyst, that capsule, we get that chocolate fluid inside. And if it's so big and you know you're able for, you know, try for remove that cyst in name for remove them, sometimes you get for remove the ovary as well, for remove that ovary. The end. For women, they will still, we don't get picky yet, or they still they try for get picking. If you remove the ovary, you actually they reduce the UMA in, in, in egg reserve because UMA doesn't produce egg anymore, then get a storage of egg, of, of eggs. And if you remove in one ovary, that means you don't reduce in egg reserve. Even if you try for pull that cyst day, you pull that cyst day, and you also they remove um, healthy tissues as well. And inside that healthy tissues, the tissues day inside the ovary, um, eggs then did as well. So yes, you can do that operation in one term. But I don't can advise patients then for that over and over and over, especially if a young woman, you know, advisable for do that operation day over and over. Um, you get alternative treatments then. We I'll just browse through the so, um, Chinese medicine, um, um, nutritional approaches, homeopathy, um, um, immune therapy, you get different, different. Um, so alternative treatments then, but the studies are not there for prove the effectiveness. And if you talk to a doctor, if you read bottom or you want to do one um, for make you know you know um, conflict with the treatment the way you they do already. Um, for the nutritional side, and can say for take fibers, then we go fed against um, constipation, to get some minerals and like zinc and magnesium. As I say, not proven, but then can say it can help. You know things like fish, seafood. Yeah, chicken, vegetables, fruits, yeah, the omega-3 or non-unsaturated non fats that we can use, like these avo uh, avocados, uh, pia, which we call pia and salon, or granite, we normally granite. Here. But what we can always say is that healthy diet, get a healthy diet and avoid alcohol, caffeine, not drinking too much coffee, not, not take too much alcohol, fatty food there, not too much McDonald's and then in the processed food, get forward, and sugary drinks. Then they say, if we in a salon, we like soft drink. So we suppose for avoid soft drink, drink water. I'll always the advocate say, low they drink water. And um, I can always advise patients if they didn't give, they need to get them packet water in a salon. Um, if they drink five to six packets for day, then they, then they, then they, then they good. Yeah, but please, 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 then we will soft drink them, they will they take low and fall down. Um, when you treat endometriosis, especially when you do the operation, the probability for making it come back day, then can say up to 30%, but to me, though, from, from your experience, it's small, more, more than that. And then say the stage one and stage two can disappear some ten and day. So woman, they, they, they can, um, we, can, we can assume, say, like a woman get belly, um, when he born, um, in order to get endometriosis again, then they know to actually two, it can take some time, but then the woman can, they can feel them, um, get, get, get them pain back, then period pain back. Um, and but some woman there, it can take like a month or two years because especially if you don't born, then you breastfeed, then you know they see your period because you breastfeed, 
that means you need to prolong the phase where the endometriosis no go day. So let me that in another one main um, effect or, 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 or advantage um, way 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 the breastfeed. So let me I encourage all women them when they when, especially if we get endometriosis we born if you're able for breastfeed it go nice for breastfeed for at least one year. But um, the recurrence of the endometriosis depends on the age, the stage of the disease, the prior treatment, if they mean complete this surgery, if they mean pull all the patches, if they mean pull all the nodules, then um, the recurrence depends on dandy. Low robot small power infertility and mental health. On the infertility side, the one main thing where they cause infertility is the inflammation. Yeah, the inflammation can be inside to the bottom belly, it can be inside the tube, it can be in the ovary. So that means it will cause, it will decrease the egg quality, it will decrease the egg quantity, it will not make the, the sperm the move the, for, the move the way it's supposed to move. Even the DNA inside the sperm, uh, it can it can embog. So that means the fertilization no will occur. Um, it can block the tube. Yeah, if the tube then begin fasting, fasting, what we call adhesions, um, the tube not they move the way it's supposed to move, or it actually block the tube, and um, and also even if all that thing then they walk and the egg gets fertilized and the egg reach inside the uterus, it can be say if the endometriosis they that the wall of the uterus, the implantation could be affect, affected. So that means the egg not be able to attach itself to the endometrium. And the woman gets better. So that are the main issues then um, with endometriosis and infertility. We get uh, a, 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 a scheme or a schema that we can go through um, when we want to treat women where we suspect sickle endometriosis and in order for bone picking. The first thing we will look at the age. If the woman is young, then we'll see, okay, how we egg reserve? If we don't get operation before, they don't put um, that, that cysts, we go down reduce the egg reserve. You can assess in tubes, they get different ways for assessing tube. You get in a salon where they do the H, uh, HSG, HSG uh, the histosalpingography with, 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 um, with X ray. And in Germany, yeah, so we get ultrasound and um, um, ultrasound we can do for check whether the tubes them then free. But, the main thing we have to always advise couples then for do is that the man for check in spam count, then for do the semen analysis. Yeah, when couple then come, they not get able to get pregnant, 30% are the woman in fault, 30% are the man in fault, 30% now them both fault, and 10% in the penalty. So that means you get for, before you begin to do any operation for the woman, you get for check the man is bad. Una man then, are the big una. If una, they try for get picking, una always try for to check on a man is, uh, on a spam count. Even if una visit, yes, you okay. Yeah, then prove until we say okay. Yeah. So if all in tears are okay, um, they can say, okay, send the woman leg, let them go, send the couple, let them go try another three, four months, three, three to six months. Minimally do that. I mean, I know woman wrong, don't they try for two, three years, they mean they tell and say, oh, everything, okay, go try back another three, four months. No, what you mean to do is I go straight away, I do the laparoscopy, check inside, see if you get um, the endometriosis patch system, pull the patch system, and then tell and say three to six months. I need go six to 12 months, I say three to six months, then I go try back for see. If they don't get pregnant, then I will say, okay, let me try the insemination. I will tell them what they, what they mean later on. Yeah, and then the insemination will try another um, six months as well. If that did not work, then we can go to the artificial reproductive therapy. Um, I will show the pictures on that also later. So if the woman older, yeah, 38, they reach 40, so um, then you get for act faster. And then people in there, sometimes they could not try five, six, ten years for get picking. They don't even forget to picking. Then, um, me nothing say it's worth it for being go operate them. If you see say they get this this endometrioma, then I did the cysts. What can talk about? And if they get large cysts, some people they can advise they remove them. But as I be don't tell you now, we want to remove that cyst they want to lose the ovary or when they when they pull also healthy tissues them way 
egg then they inside as well. So that woman with the older, not get buckle egg again, and then you go pull egg panam again. That is not gonna happen. So what you mean they do is I they go straight to the artificial reproductive therapy. Yeah, either the IVF, if the man in spam, okay, or which we call the ICC, intracytoplasmic spam injection, then when the man is spam, not okay. So the insemination is that the man they give you spam, they ejaculate, they give you spam, we they prepare the spam, and then we they inject the spam directly inside the uterus. The one advantage of this is that if endometrium, the end of that adenomyosis uterus, and the wall, you know, they contract that way, they, the sperm not they able for reach, inside for reach. So that means that when they put the sperm right here, so for every woman, so that the sperm will just go through the tube, and then if in the egg now inside the tube, the fallopian tube, and they fertilize the egg, and then it take about 100 hours until the egg, the fertilized egg can inside the uterus and then attach now to the uterus. Um, but for the IVF and the ICSI, you just stimulate the human, they get an injection, so it will go, not, not only get one follicle, it will get multiple follicles then, yeah, perfectly six to 15, and then you they go in and you they retrieve the egg there inside the follicle. Yeah, you know, you actually see the egg there, you retrieve them, and then we get a biologist where they look under the microscope, you say, yes, egg there, there. but not all follicle can get egg inside. And then when you don't get the egg, you either do the IVF, you they put the sperm and egg together, and then one sperm go fertilize one egg. Or you get the ICSI, as I say. That means if the man in sperm count not that good, you they able for go with microscope, you select one sperm and you inject and directly inside the egg. And then with the hope they will get fertilized. Not so all egg they get fertilized. And then if they get fertilized, you they left them for make it develop another two to five days. And then you inject the egg into the uterus. And the way you inject that fertilized egg inside the uterus, not to all egg they attach, not to all women get pregnant. Yeah, not to even 50%. Yeah, the pregnancy rate depends on and the age of the woman. It depends on almost egg. You give you woman in Germany, then they allow you for putting more than three egg. We now we own clinic, we only give more than two egg. Um, so the pregnancy rate, if you give one or two egg, now around 40 to 50 to, to 40 to 45 percent. If you're a young person, if you're an older person, the, the pregnancy rate. In there around 30, 35 percent. Yeah. And if you don't reach them 45, the pregnancy rate is not the higher than 10 percent, even even less than 10 percent. And then I don't know the pregnancy rate. We're not talking about the life birth rate. That woman will get pregnant, not to all the born. Yeah. Some he can get a miscarriage. Uh, mental health, very important area. Yeah. Endometriosis is intimately linked to mental health. Yeah. I mean, if you imagine the suffer with Boko of the woman and they suffer with them pain the way that they get and that heavy bleeding, and then definitely they get mental health issues as well. Then they get the, they get a higher rate of depression, higher rate of anxiety, higher rate of this what we call the post-traumatic stress disorder, and they get a higher rate of self-directed violence, self-directed violence, and like they can cut cut themselves because of the pain. Or some woman then they get so they suffer that they can commit suicide. Yeah, and um, and and that is not good, you know. So we get for epidural woman and they, and then the, uh, all their issues there is not because of the pain, but sometimes also because of the medication. Yeah, some of the hormone treatment they also they make woman depressive. They get they make the woman get depression. So they make the woman always get to go for follow up. It's very important for me the woman always to go to the doctor for follow up for see first of all if the thing they work. And secondly, how it affects them. Yeah, you get what we call the, the medical trauma. Now, I make it important to say um, the, um, men, the medical care, the, the, the mental health care is also needed in addition to medical care. Yeah, it's very important for me to know that. Yeah, not to say only, but we gynecologists, we always try to treat the patient, them, and, and relieve them of the symptoms, and that, but we forget that other area, the, that mental health care. I'm glad you see in a salon, then it develop the mental health care services they now in a salon, and uh, I hope say they will continue and they will they link themselves with gynecologists because um, a lot of patients, I'm not talking about the endometriosis, endometriosis patients, patients they will not get miscarriage is them as well. Patients where they try to get picking they don't forget picking. They need mental care as well, mental health care as well. So it will nice for always for make the um, psychologist them 
they link themselves also with the gynecologist then. So a good ment a mental health um, provider will help the patient for process in experiences and frustration, it will help them also through the medical trauma we get, the trauma we get, it will help the patient um, for managing pain, it will help the, teach the patients also some relaxation techniques them, and also very important, the com communication between, um, 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 the communication between other, with relationships them, with, with um, co-workers, with in boss, with teachers them at school. Yeah, and it's very important for make the patient young, old, able for communicate with you to go through, and the psychologists or the mental health uh, specialists support for EPAM in that area. Then, um, unfortunately, um, in the salon we not get um, an advocational group. We not get um, a group where they for um, for help women them go through. Um, this um, process, and but I will say, like for instance, in Nigeria, they get the endometriosis support group. In 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 Ghana, they get a group. In Botswana, for instance, they get, they get a lot of African countries. Them we get um, support groups. Them for endometriosis, and I hope say that salon we go also form we group. But until then, with our advice, um, people them we get endometriosis or people where they live with people that will get endometriosis, for making them visit the African Endometriosis um, Awareness Group website. Now they are pulled that video, and what I'm showing now. Um, and if you're able to contact them, then they go able for help una, they go even able for help una for set up a group, for set up a group in a salon as well. Uh, because it's important for make them, people they know say, first of all, not to they one going to suffer. They get other people away to suffer with them. And if they create that group, they also can also be a self-help group safe. They go able for help people them for making them go through them pain. And then you get the pain, and then you get the suffering from the pain. Yeah, you get some people that get the pain, but because they don't learn how for 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 for, for tackle them, they don't actually suffer from the pain. Yeah, but you get those then where they suffer from the pain, and then when they now they can get the mental issues. You know, so if they get if we if we get if we create a group in a salon um for that, then it will help a lot. And we serve to do our own part. So that means um first of all, I talk about the um I'm gonna take home messages. Um first thing, the 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 um definition chronic inflammatory systemic, very important for me on another day. Um the symptoms them pain and infertility are the main symptoms they and as I'm gonna say, a lot of women they suffer from I'm hundred and nine they estimate hundred and ninety million women worldwide. Yeah, you get specific diagnostic and specific treatments them. Um, please, please, please go see doctor for me the doctor help you. And as I say, medical health care is needed in addition, in addition to uh, mental and to, to, to medical care. The mental health care is, is needed in addition to mental care. And also, as I say, it will nice for little create an awareness in the salon. And we, and our well body better pass gently, um, if you want to get any questions, please um, send on the questions then to WhatsApp group. Um, but also um, you can send your questions then to um, the Yaris Fertility Consultancy and an, 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 an online consultancy. Um, where the app, um, we couples them when they try to get picking. But if you also get endometriosis and you need um, answers, you need somebody for advice, you've got just an advisory uh, uh, um, program, um, you can write to um, an email or you visit the website. I thank you for, for your attention. Back to you, Dr. To, uh, Mr. Fuller. Hey, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Bell. Welcome. Uh, Dr. Bell don't make me doctor today, so uh, <laughs> one, one, we, we, we the greet me now, for if you don't put doctor in the answer. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm going to tell you now, if I'm them, um, I believe say when I don't learn a lot because um, I hear the fourth version of this. And trust me, there's a lot of stuff with this man talk about. 
I've never heard of it before. So I believe say owner self don't must benefit from this. So now at the time where we can open the floor for let people ask questions. Um, I hope city plan will be bold enough for us because normally um, where we can talk about you know um, woman health or something the mental health certain topics in the way we can talk about where people can feel you know um, shy for talk. Now um, the way how you will be able to help yourself and also help other people the way they suffer from this or people because of there's a man they go through the kind here they not feel bold enough for let a say something. So the only way for the encouraging people and for letting self come forward is by sharing your own, even sharing your own um, 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 situation, your own, your own experience. But also it's about, if you don't understand stuff, ask. Uh, because there's a lot of stigma around them kind of here. We make but people in the item. If we, even people, I know few people will leave the item from their partner, which not to say that something they do, we make the, you know, they end up in that situation. They, it's just what it is. So the more we talk about it here, and the, you know, the, the better people then will be educated. Yeah, mommy, she say. Mommy, she say? Yes. Hello, ma. Uh, good, good evening, everybody. Dr. Bill, thank you very much. This, um, I'll, I'll listen, uh, anyway, and I got me today, I'm able for login. I suffer from that. But I never tell me GP, I not explain to nobody, but exactly how you explain soon as well, I'll be, I'll be suffer. I'll be suffer through that. But right now, it happened to me picking my elder daughter. He get the same problem right side, they go through week, you see, period, no problem for him. Now, I don't get experience. I go try for book appointments for low C in GP. Yeah. You see, make them, you know, they, Sunday can, you know, be the good college where they hold them. And right now, you don't go uni and you don't move far away from me. Now, I don't end that because if you hold outside a day, you go make a, you go, you isolate yourself, you go away, you can hold yeah. them. You really, really just a locking self in a room. Pass I can get a hot water and water bottle. Yeah. And again, pass it all. Now, I go try for book appointment for them. For like we come Manchester for can see with GP. Yeah. Any yeah. demona seriously. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you friend. very much. Thank you. Yeah. You see, now dentia um fine for le with the share. I know see yes, like I said before, um, there's stigma attached to dentia. Um, but the more people then talk about and the more we get in kind of session there, I feel say that the more um, sensitization and education would be within the community. Like I said, um, I've, you know, I share a story with the team on Friday we will meet. Um, it had like, see, before that, that was even before I see the video. Now I end up to Bell say, just wait till I show you the video. And something similar happened on that video there. So even for we demand them as well, a fine for let we say they go through the entire land them, understand them, just in case either we pick in them, as a full I will really pray for that. But if it does happen, you know, how we be able to deal with anything day? Or we meet up somebody who is so lovely, you know, they fulfill every single thing in our life. But just because of this, we begin to look and say, ah, me are not good with this. The entire that thing then we can happen, but we have to learn, you know, why they happen and know, you know, how for manage them. So we say the man there, we say the woman they need to support. Thank you very much for me to say. Um, oh, Maria, to don't go. Okay. Um, Auntie Memuna. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll go to yes. Maria first. Yeah. Memuna, okay. wait. Memuna, wait. There, I'll go to Maria to first. I mean, Maria, to? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so, uh, Mr. Fuller, how are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Yeah. Um, Dr. Bell, I want to say thank you very much for this presentation. Yeah, so, you know. I really don't learn a lot. And as you know, um, this case, yeah, so in a case where myself they suffer from, and Dr. Bell know because I don't talk to him before. And Dr. Bell now a very, very good family friend to we, like, uh, especially with the medical side. So I want for use this opportunity really for say thank you to you, Dr. Bell, because of every time we call you for any medical um, advice, you render unto me so. On behalf of my husband, I want to say thank you to you and thank you for this presentation. Um, I get one question where we, we I want to ask because um, I suffer also 
from this endometriosis, but like recent didn't do MRI scan and they don't confirm say now that are there no meiosis where you talk about so so then say na ema gets so then they say then for like a go in November for that laparoscopy day we we then say but main time first um the doctor the consultant advice say for make a them insert that my my rena something like that coil yeah. I mean, but like I mean, they think say when I get for go back because few days ago I go do the yeah, like we be explained about the CA125 um test we been come out high. So they be say like I go repeat and back. So I go there this week um on Tuesday for good we do the blood test back. But then they advise say for like I do the insertion the marina. So but I be afraid really say I no one for do one. Because I be the thing say next call we then go call me I want go tell the consultant say I no want for let them do that insertion day because I the fair say because when I get the period when I did bleed I they bleed heavy and if the blood not come out that moment there they feel so much pain but like if I go and um, like the clot then come out I they feel a bit relief so the fear what been get say sometimes if they insert this marina it could be block the blood like you know come out so i uh, feel say maybe i will get more pain so i uh, really think say for like i go tell they say let them not fix some so i don't know which you know, I, I advice what you will give or that one day okay yeah yeah uh, marie maria thank you very much for you for your uh, contribution um me will advise you for making to the mirana yeah, I think say even if not temporary, because the the the, the thing we they need try for do is the one they try for stop you bleeding. Yeah, stop your heavy bleeding. You get some 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 um, emergency drugs that we then can give for if especially if you did on your heavy bleeding, you get some emergency drugs that we can give as well. But um, the one do I'm a little bit long term. Yeah, and this dandelion can be able for help you, and and if if you no know one do the and, and okay, first of all, you know, go block the bleeding. Yeah, the bleeding could still come out. And then after some time, not only spotting you go get, you know, go the you know, go they bleed heavily anymore. So normally that a spotting, normally go they get, and sometimes then the bleeding will stop totally. Yeah. So it's a good thing. Me go advise you, let you get them. All medications get in positive side and a negative side. You just get for see, say, okay, waiting. Within how then they help me for this from the symptom for the symptoms that I get. Yeah. And then they, if you get an adenomyosis uteri, then they go help you tremendously. Yeah. The laparoscopy when they want to do, now they want to see if you get any other endometriosis or any other side. Yeah, because they, they can it can be a combination of both. So if they go in and they see the endometriosis um, um, inside um, the bottom belly, they can also remove then they. And the, the 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 device when they put inside the uterus, then they can do can do it for the next five years. So that means say you know you get more, especially if you don't the, the family planning don't 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 don't, then um um then then a very good treatment made. I will advise you for do. Okay, thank you very much, Doctor Bell. Um, before I go to um um Auntie Victoria, I want to ask is um. This thing that's making end up killing person. I mean, not not to the 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 mental health side of things, but the actual disease of itself. It can it can contribute to let somebody die. It can lead to somebody who lost their life or not just. Um, not 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 directly, not directly, not so like a like a like a cancer. You get um studies that we show say some um, endometriosis, especially in the womb or on the youth, the ovary can lead to cancer, but um, you know, they're not confirming, they're not confirming that much. So not so not so much life-threatening um, um, disease. Now only it depends on the how it don't spread. Yeah. And it depends on um the treatment the way they do. You know, um, like for instance, Boko Tenki Day, if especially if you want to go into the, the deep endometriosis for remove the endometriosis, sometimes you have to remove part of the of the rectum, you have to remove part of the bladder, the all that they can cause complications them as well. 
you know, but the disease of incest, it's just a chronic disease, um, but, um, you know, actually will cause death. I don't um, know, I don't get somebody, I don't submit somebody before we, um, they, 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 although say, people are most likely to die sometimes of the complication of the treatment and that is the inside, you know, if you do too much, if you want to over treat the patient, yeah. So that make you get for get for assess the patient. For instance, if that person way um, prone to blood clots, for instance, they get some medicines they will not go get the patient. Because you go that patient, patient that medicine day, you will get thrombosis, you will get emboli, and you you kill the patient. So that means you get for know the history of the patient before you treat the patient. And um, you get for no say, okay, this patient just said, I will get certain drugs, or this patient said, oh, I, will, I will rather operate them. Um, but from endometriosis, safe, 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 safe. No, it's not life threatening. Okay, thank you very much, doctor. Um, you know, for the family as well, um, these are the reasons we make, you know, we can always, all the doctors and can always advise, say, no, no self medicate. Because you don't know which kind of conditions they suffer, which are the side, um, um, you know, side effects of some of them, or some of them drugs and the way sometimes the people they can decide for self medicate. But also, if you are not, this I say this for the one them back home, we some man in never qualify fully, not say you don't begin to get people them. No, be very careful. Okay, uh, Auntie Victoria. Auntie Victoria. Hello. Yes, yes ma. Yeah, okay. Um, Dr. Bell, thank you very much for that presentation. Yeah. As somebody saying that the things, um, some of we are a silent killer for some of us, especially us African women. The question we may want to ask you is, say if you don't get a laparotomy, a possible endometriosis will come back? Yeah, a possible say will come back. Um, people in the estimates say about 30% of endometriosis will come back, but as I say, um, me, the estimate higher, yeah. Um, and as I said, like chronic disease, it's a, it's a, if, uh, as I'm saying back, they get a lot, a lot of theories about it, yeah. Um, but uh, it just be same when they operate you, then they first of all remove waiting in the sea, so mm. they can be there, not to alter in the sea and not to alter and remove. So that the one main thing that they, yeah, if you see the patches. They remove the patches, but the deep endometriosis, they're not see them. Um, yeah. Or that one way with other endo, their adenomyosis, uterine with really inside the womb. Um, that means they're not um, treat you, they're not operate you completely. That means say, the probability for making it, it, it come back high. You know, so sometimes it can also be, especially if you know, you know, you know, they the, you know, want to get picking at the moment, where they then do the operation and um, then get advice patients and say, okay, well, maybe. Um, also do the hormone treatments as well until the time we want to get speaking or until you reach if you know if your family planning done done until you reach your menopause with 50 then you stop the medication yeah but sometimes it's nice forget the combination of both mm -hmm. no no i just the ask because about i get to like about 20 something years ago but i just feel say it's me, man, I make a question. So is it possible that? Yeah, yeah. I will mean, say that's it. Okay, thank you for that. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. I can add to that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, See, okay. uh, me, 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 big sister. <laughs> yes, little bro. Well, you know my story. <laughs> exactly. So, so now, now, actually, as things stand, I know I actually talk about you because I know the story, but it's certain things that the way you go lose. Uh, when a uh, woman, you know, uh, uh, mm -hmm. genital, uh, um, if you like, uh, organs, once you mm -hmm. lose them, you get something what we call the uh, menopause, you know, like somebody we don't lose in womb, somebody we don't lose in, in tubes and in ovaries, mm -hmm. not to know they give for let that thing they act upon, if you see what I mean, because now when the, the, the cycle, the, the period day, then that mm -hmm. thing they will go outside of it. So once the non-pulam and the thing don't come out, the likelihood of that happening, quasi be say if you don't did it any country, but other than that, you're not likely for continue because no hormone, no day, with that thing they go act upon. It's as simple as that. Okay. Uh, and that means say if that if they don't pull the ovaries, if they if exactly they pull it, that's it. That's the thing I say. Yeah. yeah. yeah if <laughs> you they pull the only womb, then um 
And but you get to a women, then we they even they don't pull the if they don't pull the ovary, that they can still suffer from the consequence of endometriosis because of the because of the operation as well. Because um, um even when you do the operation, you they cause you actually they cause temporarily inflammation as well. And so you can they can receive adhesions. The the the, the, the gut then can be fasting fasting to by themselves, or the gut go fasting at the wall of the of the of the belly. And then if the if the gut begin fasting fasting, um it can cause pain as well. I mean some people them um, where um even if they especially when they don't operate over and over and over again they can go to that stage of not only having cyclical pain, but then they get the chronic pain, you know? So now I make, I can always advise patients and say, please, 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 when I not operate, when I don't make, when I don't do always operation. We get some, 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 some patients there, when they come to me, they don't operate them six, seven, eight, then once every year, then they operate them. And that's not, that definitely not necessary. But if they don't pull the ovary and they don't pull the womb um, from the endometriosis side, um, you know, will grow, but um, it can possibly say yes through the operation. Um, you get the adhesions and you get the chronic pain, unfortunately. Yeah, quite correct. The adhesions, the, the difference is either more the complication of, the, of yeah. the operation, you know, but not necessarily the endometriosis itself. You know, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I also get a question. Da, 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 da. Um, So what did they ask say, if you could also say a few words about ectopic endometriosis? Because I may say this is an area which um, they can, you know, people can normally, you know, forget about. Ectopic endometriosis. <laughs> well, that's the endometriosis. Yeah. That, that's, it. that's exactly what you mean. Endometriosis yeah. means the outside of the womb. Outside of the womb. Yes. That, uh, ectopic means outside. Yeah, the ectopic that, yeah. That's the yeah. end of the POC, Okay. Okay, hold on. Um, let me just see. Yeah. Remember now, remember now asking question, please. Yes, I cannot. <laughs> I'll bet I'm going to before. Before I remember now, it's me. Yes, I'm going to ask. Yes, yes, I'm um, Dr. Bell. I'm um, Dr. Come on, thank you very much. This is a very, very wonderful presentation. Um, I just get four facts because I get somebody where I know where be say, um, I just want to know the difference. Like you get the cyst, I get somebody where I know where they say, first the cyst, the boss, where he boss, then NHS, then just suck out because I actually see the picture. Then just suck out the blood and everything. Then the cyst get for grow back, pass away, end up for go private so you don't do almost like three operation uh, so just if they talk about the operation and this now young person you know born yet so what's in the chances of getting pregnant and um whether the cyst now the occurrence you get for what you call you know uh, because like this uh, i don't take the website where i will get for advice the person because it really don't make me worry because uh, i wish then kind of information here yeah, some of you we don't know them for a long time so I just want for me to enlighten me more for give me the difference between this cyst, where then we say he bust, then pull, then he get for go back, then say he grow, then then begin some hormone treatment for say for stop the bleeding before the other operation. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, I be one put the person on for what he travel, you know, day for me even for join this group. Yeah. Yeah. Um, first, yeah. Thank you for you for your question for you. Um, yeah, for your question. Um, first of all, this session is recorded, so you can send them. You can send them to the web, to the um, um, YouTube channel, or to the Facebook group. Let they, they watch the presentation, so it's going to understand. Um, yes, if somebody gets cyst and they not remove, they get as I say, you get the way to call the capsule that the cyst. If you know you move that capsule in the cyst, the probability of making gets endometriosis that that cyst the back. High. especially if you say it, it, it is cyst boss and then just go in they, 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 they do some drainage then wash the belly and they, they just wash the cyst they don't pull the the, 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 um, the the capsule then the probability for making it get some back high but 
Then they are the cysts where they see where grow. It can be say that same cyst can develop other signs. Yeah. So as I say, I, I, I make I say then three words that are very important: chronic, inflammatory, and systemic. That means say the probability for make the cyst come back day. I mean, say, I don't get a few patients in back. I mean, when you get a canteen and they, you always get an aid and you know they forget. Yeah. Uh, when patients come, you get one cyst. They operate them. Um, um, in the space of three months, it come back, they get cysts, they apparently two over there, apparently two over there, you get cysts, they remove the cyst. Um, okay, like me, as I say, me like the reproductive medicine side that day, me advise the patient and say, hey, because we get the probability for, we get the, the option for, if you find out, say, you get for, you get for, um, pull the cyst and the woman, the egg reserve not that high, you get the, the, the possibility for saving egg. For stimulate them, removing egg and, and freezer and save them. Yeah, then they now, now the, the Western world that that that, that situation they we, we can do. So um, me advise the patient say let me do that. The patient say well no, he won't do that. He go and go do the operation back. He go do the operation back. The total he go do the operation. The turn up because get where I the test for C. Get what anti Mueller hormone where they actually test for C. Almost be uh, the woman the egg reserve, and then we come back. The third time we come back, you know, get no egg reserve anymore. Oh. You know, and that's 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 really bad. And they can tell you the still in your mind, you know, and I make endometriosis are something very, 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 very important to me for, for, for telling people and say, please, 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 operation. And sometimes, yes, for relieve the pain, yeah. But on the other hand, you can really cause more harm than good. So forget the diagnosis, forget the diagnosis, say, yes, I get endometriosis. Sometimes you need forget the tissue for talk for, for so you get endometriosis. But if they don't pull the cyst one thing, then the cyst will grow back. And that person they um no 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 not get picking it or it still won't get more picking. Then if for send them to a fertility specialist, make this fertility specialist advise them and say, okay, we get the option for, for freeze your eggs, and then um if they do the operation and you find out, say, okay, because sometimes during the operation, because the cyst is so big, during the operation, those who decide, say, oh, we can't save the, the ovary anymore, no, just remove the ovary, yeah? Because oh. even before you do the operation, you tell the patient, they, they advise the patient, you tell the patient, say, this also might happen, and most, most likely we try to remove the cyst, you need to remove the cyst, so therefore remove the ovary. So before then go the third or fourth, third, fourth operation, it will always nice for us to see a, a fertility, fertility specialist, let the fertility specialist advise you um, before you go to the operation mark. And as I say, yes, you can bridge that same day with the with the hormone treatment. And the hormone treatment, you know, the you know, you know people in the field say, oh, what well, do the hormone treatment? Then are they, they, they cure me? Are they the they, 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 they go? That that's cyst day, day. You know, they go. The question is if it will continue for develop. And through that hormone treatment day, you know, will continue to develop, yeah, and that then will help patient there at least bridge that gap there so that we don't go talk to the, the fertility specialist. The fertility specialist will advise you if you do the operation or first of all, um, um, freeze your eggs then before you do the operation. So until if they pull the tubes then, um, uh, after they don't freeze the eggs, you know, go occur, it obviously will be pain free. Um, it will be pain free, as I say, chronic disease. It will be, uh -huh. be pain free for a while. And patients, them way one get pregnant. We then they, we, we, as I say, as I mean, uh, if, if, if fertility specialist or a fertility specialist. So the patient, when they come to me, um, now one they will want, forget speaking. So waiting, we will see them get endometriosis. And they want to forget pregnant. The best way for treat endometriosis now for making women get pregnant. Uh -huh. you know? And um, somebody writes now on the uh, the chat if um they can, people they can get um uh, we are calling uh, miscarriages um, due to endometriosis yeah especially if you get adenomyosis uterine you can get um um recurring uh, miscarriages so sometimes um for for make the adenomyosis decrease and the adenomyosis you actually see and say well, we do ultrasound they they use to us. And they, they, they a little bit bigger, the bulgy, you know, and mostly um, women can definitely get um, um, recurring um, 
um, um, miscarriages, unfortunately. But if you do a treatment for three to six months, and after that, you go straight to IVF for make you get because we do IVF, the, the probability of making you get pregnant higher, go straight to IVF, that could help. There's another question there as well about the side effects of being on birth control. Yeah, as I say, first main thing, ask the woman if it gets um, a higher risk for get thrombosis or emboli, um, or if somebody in a family day we get um, thrombosis or, or, or emboli because that is like, one issue. Then if you find say yes, if somebody in the family get then you have to check if itself get them. Um, and also other side effects, depression. Yeah, depression can day. Um, 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 mood swings, as the, as the woman in video been talk back, and get mood swings. Um, and woman can get spotting before, like especially you get some medication. They will you tell you, man, but just take them throughout, not stop, just take them throughout. You might get spotting before the bleeding disappear. And finally, um, but uh, for especially for teenagers, them um, um, yeah, that mood swings. But uh, teenagers, them they don't really, they, they, even they don't take the 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 they don't take medication. They get mood swings. They can't get the medication part of that. So yeah, they can get they can get the mood swings then. So the diets go help. The, the dietitian you go get a dietitian. We go help start some food they way for eat or not for eat so help for minimize the pain. Yeah, uh, um, I'm talking about me, na me, na me, um, na me, na the session. Say yes, and um, we get this Mediterranean, Mediterranean diet. And so then it can help a lot. I mean, the fish, um, um, fruits, nuts, can help. And also for avoid alcohol, avoid soft drinks, avoid fatty food. Yeah, um, then it can help as well. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Um. Um, Mr. Kojo Keu, now you will be the last question we'll take to you because of time. I don't say, you know, I'm happy with the interest of people in the show. I'm uh, really happy. Um, the show say really, um, this is something where people want to know about. Um, Mr. Kojo Keu? Dr. Kojo Keu. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, there you go. In the back, you know, put doctor. You see, now I don't see, I don't see the doctor now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Keu, thank you, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, um, I've been trying to use the um, video, but when I use the video, the um, you know the internet or the band, band bandwidth not able to support that. Um, I, I want to tell um, um, Dr. Christian Bell, uh, thank you, thank you for such a brilliant uh, presentation. Um, but the question where I want to ask, and I want ask the question and make a small contribution to the discussion is that the question we will ask Dr. Bell is that if there is any known alternative method um, uh, for the treatment of endometriosis, the reason why I ask that is that we have been able or we've been successful in treating a lot of these um, cystic conditions, including ovarian cysts with alternative medicine methods. So I don't know, we have never applied it yet on um, endometriosis. Maybe it's an opportunity to, to see whether we can use these um, uh, alternative methods on, on um, you know, alternative medicine methods on endometriosis and save a lot of women unnecessary, you know, strife. Uh, over to you, sir. Yes, um, you get alternative uh, alternative treatments the way then can they offer patients them as I say um, traditional Chinese medicine for instance, um, but we don't get any studies them where they prove their effectiveness and that's 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 the main problem. And um, there could be alternative treatments the way might be good, but um, if we not get um, um, accurate studies for their medications or for their treatments then they then we, we in, it's very difficult for me we recommend then treatments then they to to uh, 
to patients. So um, me way to make an advice is this. So if person gets um, the ability for, or it gets a way for gets alternative treatment, um, um, collect the numbers, collect the numbers, do, do a study and see whether it works and then publish it, you know? Um, but yeah, there are some treatments that you could use that seem to be effective, but um, there are no um, there are no studies to prove that. Thank you very much. But but I just want to add that um, I was very excited when you were talking about it. We did it try to talk about the disease as being chronic and being you know some you know, inflammatory, etc. So. Um, those are the areas that um, we, we we really touch in 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 in, in, um, in integrative medicine. We look at the underlying cause of the chronicity and the inflammation. Mm -hmm. We go directly and hit it, and we yeah. and, and we get um, you know astounding results. Um, but as I agree with you that we should collect cases and you see, it will be interesting to see what it does to uh, endometriosis, what we are doing, what it does to endometriosis and what we do not get the volume of patients needed for such, uh, if you if you talk about um, um, institutions and within the board and um, um, PCMH and all, they don't encourage alternative medicine. So uh, <laughs> it's a catch-22 situation, you see. So I would say, for instance, um, if, you, if, the, if this group can send me at least uh, five patients with confirmed endometriosis, I will treat them free of charge for at least um, um, you know, four to five weeks and mm -hmm. see the result. Uh -oh. Thank you very much, Dr. Um, Dr. Kegu. Um, and this group, uh, you know, as our, as our Dr. Um, Bell don't say, um, Marie you know, we, we are really for pass on um, vital information to people. Um, now it will be down to the patients and for let them make that referral, but we're not go able to refer them because, um, you know, it's down to the patient for them make that decision as to within or what kind of treatment they want to seek. However, um, this information is there. It go there on YouTube, it go there on Facebook. It will be down to the individual who make that, that call, whether they want to try, um, you know, uh, uh, mainstream um, um, medicine, or maybe they want to try alternative medicine, that decision may be entirely down to them. But thank you very much for your offer, and thank you very much for your contribution. Um, another question with somebody asked is, say, if this sickness hereditary, you know, if that's until they pass, yeah, as I will not say um, on one of my slides, say if um, somebody gets in the family, the probability for make um, um, the direct relative get um, is um, seven times higher. So there are some um, um, genes that we don't find out already. Um, um, we they say it's linked to endometriosis, but um, they're just uh, they're at the experimental stage. But yeah, I mean we don't we don't we don't um, we get we always get our statements. We're supposed to say ah you they um, you they see you, we, you get pain with the three period. You say ah that ain't normal. Me I they see the pain. Me 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 mama self me they see the pain. Me sister self see the see the to be done in a normal thing. So yes, there is a component. Um, and um, naimic, it's always good to for no that as well. So that means say if the the picking come and you get problems, and the mama safe day and you know fifty eight and you get problems, he send the mama come and say okay, mama, I don't get outside again for treat me final. Um, you know go you know go ask them for say how how they going for 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 treat you because the treatment as I say is also different in a different age group. Yeah, if you still get um, um, wish forget speaking or you know we get wish forget speaking, but um, it's important for me to know say una need help. Yeah, una not supposed for the suffer alone. Um, una need help um, through um, una gynecologist yeah or a general practitioner. Una need also uh, mental health and care. It's very important as well. When I need a support group, you know, I mean, they talk about this, 
but this African um, this um, African endometriosis awareness group, um, we Migo for now recommend because we not get on a salon. So Migo recommend the endometriosis um, the African endometriosis awareness group. Um, I been see the co-founder been there online. I don't know if he's still there. Um, no, I'm not saying again. I think say most likely don't left. Um, because um, it's very important for me when I get when I attach myself to some side, we go um, we will not go for get support. And then the one area we will go definitely get support. Um, this is the this is not the website where we then get. And I did pull the, the, the video I'm showing that just now. Um, yeah, this is the video I'm showing just now. And these are the are the are the co-founders. The co-founders them. Um, and I mean the website day. So I'm gonna contact them and see how we're able for how they're able to and maybe they're able for help we self for create um, an awareness group for salon. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Dr. Kehu, um, somebody they ask if you can able to share your details, please. Let me kind of try for unmute you. If you're able to type up for we, that would be good and share them to everybody in case anybody wanna reach out. Um, please share your information, please. Um, I'll go to Auntie Fatima. How would they say that the last question? But you know, I know I left people hanging. Yes, Auntie Fatima. Yes, go ahead, ma'am. Hello, yeah, um, and not a um, question, but more um, addition to waiting um, Uncle Dr. Bell say, which is a fantastic presentation. Thank you, really, for um, the information where we gave, where you gave it. Um, but I'd be one uh, just highlight saying uh, red meats, particularly now we therefore avoid even women the way they get fibroid red meats. Now, one of the things that where they cause the symptoms then for go worse. So really important because the uh, red meat get buku estrogen in Panam. So now make we therefore really, um, you know, avoid them completely. And um, the other thing that be soy products. I know say now we community, we know they eat buku soy product. But um, any soy, it gets, um, you know, estrogen thing where they mimic estrogen. So we therefore limit stand there as well. Um, I just want, you know, make women then aware for, try to avoid that thing then there because uh, as much as all the other things where, where you list there, um, you know, specifically that thing then there, they make the symptoms then worse back. Um, now then the normal be one add. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I learned Boku today about um, endotrimiosis. So thank you, Uncle. Anti Fatima including more and more. I want to also be Anti Fatima now. We nutritionist within we group. Um, I don't see yes for a few sessions in nothing in our in our in our bin day, but it don't it don't come back. Um, so now I make it give advice regarding food and uh, you know and uh, nutrition and stuff. Okay. Um, they are big. Me fan them. I'll go to Anti Adama and Marisa. That would that will be the last two places for today. They are big. Um, we want to have a look see we keep to time, please, yeah? Adama? Adama, yeah. today? Yes. I want to thank you for this program. Mm -hmm. Now, Mama Anita, now invite me. Now, today I get a chance for coming, join you now. Myself, I get um, a pain, severe pain around my abdomen, but waiting at the can't say now is that um, I have had this pain when they see and at the time where I'm supposed to because I've been getting irregular periods, then it kind of stopped. So my period stopped early. But this pain, yeah, so they don't do MRI scan. I don't go vocal x-rays. So the doctors there, I think they're not getting much for do because I saw me see now. The last time I visited, um, a physiotherapist is about two weeks, nearly three weeks now. So they say they, they, they go for refer me to um, a pain uh, um, clinic and I don't receive letter or email 30 day. But it really more than me. I can get a sleepless night if I do something I'm not able to concentrate. I just remember that part where uh, Dr. B, they talk about uh, mental health. Yes, so sometimes I can feel that way. I say, oh, but if it, be, it better, I'll let go take me life than I suffer this way. And so I can feel sometimes because I can get away. Like now, where the next door is so if I go now to bed, I need a skip to clean. 
because now, now during the night, now it is worst. So my, my right foot, it be the heart, now they, they go check, they say I get wearing and tearing, now my knee. But I found out that it affects me both the knees, and me, me hips, everything, just the, from the lower back, they go down. So now this is not my problem. I don't know now what to for do. So I don't know if I get any advice about how I will advise me for manage my health. Thank you very much, Antetam. I'm really sorry about the thing to really go through. Um, we get a few doctors them on the panel. Um, anybody want to provide advice on this? Um, it can be seen not all endometriosis, it can be something else. Yeah, I mean, as I say, if not cyclic pain, I mean, they get when it's your period, then yeah, it can link it links to endometriosis. And yes, um, so woman they can wake and get that cyclic pain there. It can also go down, um, go down to the to the to the to the foot as well, to to the to the leg and to the foot, because um, um because if it is, if it didn't have some so kind of air outside the nerve, then they um, it can cause that as well. Um, yes, pain management. You need you need pain management, especially because as I say, this this thing has shown as something way um, colic. You know, you can able for treat them into a certain point, but um, the one main thing you get for do, you get for you get for do the pain management. Yeah, and you for go see. I don't know who specialist you go see, but in Germany also, for instance, we get endometriosis specialists them. You know, and um, we said we the, the, the team we we mean the group is we said for endometriosis specialist them as well. Um, so I will advise you for go see endometriosis specialist for make because not the MRI normal for do then can do the laparoscopy, um, but the one main thing where you need you definitely need pain man, uh, pain pain management, but okay. as it, it can also be seen as something else. You know, and I don't know if we or the other doctors in our panel and get any any other thing to say for say to that. Okay, thank you, sir. Anybody else want to add from the doctors there? Yeah. Uh, uh, hello. Thank you so much, Doctor Bell, for your presentation. It's very very good. Um, I I don't get all the question within the woman ask all. I think they get this pain where they go sleep and they go it get up by in knee and the hip and all the rest. Oh, yeah. And the pain management. So yeah, yeah, you, you I agree with you. The pain management are the key thing, but sometimes they find for no waiting really they cause the pain. Because if you know waiting they cause the pain, then you go able for tailor the management towards the cause of the pain. Um, it depend the pain team where you go see some areas. Then the pain team then they go give you beaucoup opioids and op medication no more. But some areas them, then they try for investigate the cause of the pain. Sometimes it could be a radiating pain, uh, maybe from the back or from the hip going downwards. See, so if it happen every day, every night, and and ongoing, then I don't know if then they cyclical or not. See, because so, because if you get for happen, say the time where they get you period, then but if not to the time they get period and it's still they happen, then we need for no say maybe something else they lead to the cause of you pain and medication and day where they can give where you they only take maybe at night where they help for relieve you pain and at the same time then sedative as well, then it make you really sleep. Um, so you go able to forget sleep with that, and so 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 it's all tell about around you the management we don't get already how far they don't investigate thing, and if um, uh, endometriosis I know we don't talk a lot about that, huh? so I'm thinking the the possibility they go see need for maybe think about them huh? before it begin go on for investigate them. Huh? See, so maybe, maybe if the possibility to go see if if you get an your family or so, the possibility to go see if you even if you mention about endometriosis and you cycle and everything, then then will tell us okay, well, low, low we see if they can send you to endometriosis specialist or a gynecologist or whatever, and go investigate that side if us. If they don't investigate that side, they don't do laparoscopy. They don't find out to not to endometriosis. Then you find out other side because MRI scan 
may not be not only diagnostic thing really for endometriosis, you know, and MRI scan with your soft tissue for that issues uh, and are you back and spine and and and, and otherwise. So so uh, as as doctors say, the the pain team, I don't know if now UK you there, the situation now with the referral to then specialist uh, and department and they it can delay it. Some people can even go private, but um, push for the pain team, but push again, let them try for no waiting a year cause. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Tui. Um, they have a fan with them. <laughs> I see Dr. Ansel saying, and they are part of the team. So you are part of the team. So you are, you are part of the team. Um, Marisa? Auntie Marisa? Hello? Yes, ma. How are you there, Amy? Yes, ma. Uh, okay, well, now, good evening. Thank you so much. This is a very important talk, and I really enjoyed the talk with all correspondent to all the doctors them and um, coming from a social aspect, just would the other doctor talk what, you know, how it difficult or get appointment because me back get the kingdom would they suffer the same pain but I not go put on towards endometriosis. So I don't know, I go probably cancel them out, but what thing we find out here yeah, so na the UK, it's ganga for black people them forget any form of appointment or even where you go there to the doctor. The doctor will even tell you what in the wrong with you, you know, and you not go listen to what in you they suffer with, you know, sometimes they it depends on the doctor we get. Some people then get good GP, we'll go refer them fine for you know treatment. So I tell you thank you for the referral of that website where you um, share with we for you know reach out for you know for we own community because this is a very good um, pathway for we for come together, you know, and shine the light for for we picking them, you know, not to only we, because now it's right we can, you know, pass through generation. So the doctors then are so, then good, but because of your color, because we not get Boku black doctors there, now the UK, you know, especially the area where we day, now so, so, I tell you, thank you, you know, for that, that website for sharing, but I just want for, you know, reach out as well, say any aspect of, you know, social aspects, any psychological, you know, um, traumatic events. If I can, I'll do my input in that kind of aspect. Done. People then for no from make them go go to their local community centers, especially like show stats. Then can they give very good information towards you know whatever um, issue you know probably you no know, the black okay the issues then yeah then go help you as much as they can, but this website here so today why don't find out. I would dig up on them and I would definitely, you know, go for it and register and see how we can overcome and introduce me picking them because me picking them, they suffer too much, you know, period pains them. So I need for no, because even me, the doctors, them, you can make appointment and go see you and say, oh, I just, you know, a teenage kind of stage, it will go off. And then they take much thoughts into how um, African Caribbean they suffer, you know, then kind of biological aspects, you know, and none of the give advice. Thank you to Auntie Fatima will give advice for you know dietary and stuff. Will we for take in, in, in consideration to 
was our health as well. So I tell them that thank you. Now that's no more I've been one for say. Thank you. Thank you very much for your contribution. And also I want to make you say um, Dr. Kojo Kehu don't share in details as well for people who want to reach out um, to him for support um, in information day within the chat. So if you look there. But also yeah. um, like how Dr. Bell be they say, because um, as far as we know, we not get a support group as alone. So maybe if possible they suffer um, there, maybe it's a chance for a you know, they start something. Um, if they reach out to me, whatever we say, if we help out with, we will help and uh, provide support. But this could be a good opportunity as well for people and we're passionate about this, either they suffer from them or just passionate about the way they want to help other people. This is another avenue for people then for looking to. But we found we learn, I thank you, thank you for all on our time today and attention we will not pay and all the questions, the suggestions and the feedback. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Um, we they can't end now, so they can't ask the doctors they within the panel, but let them give you short, you know, goodbye messages because we really don't go over time. So I will go first with Dr. Kamara, please. Yes, uh, Tambula, thank you. Una, thank you, thank you. Uh, I left on a schedule program them and all that you know for do and come can join me today. I uh, hope so uh, definitely benefit from uh, waiting. Dr. Bell, don't talk to you today. I uh, thank him very much. You know, he really uh, do justice to the the tag and of course to the title itself. It's not a sick way not to just one person sick. It's not a sick way not the whole family. Uh, I get particular concerns about that with Sister the last talk. We say ten day you can feel like say you want for taking your own life, you know, it make you for suffer like that. And that not the kind of thing we would worry about. Now make it be not to one green person sick. This is not the whole family. And therefore the need for support. But of course, we need for create awareness. Like you see the video, you must suffer for 14 years. By the time you go now, sometimes you don't too late, pass and get for good operation, pull the womb. So the people that we teach you in our school and say a stitch in time saves ten uh, save nine, clearly. This is applicable in this particular case. So, dear, if you feel any of the symptoms, uh, irrespective of the age, as long as you're between 10 and 50, maybe 55, please, please, please get yourself examined. Go to doctor. You know, uh, agree, say, then, you know, uh, other medicine, you know, traditionalists and things that probably then get their own role, probably then get, you know, supplementary role. But the key thing here is you need at least for uh, get the diagnosis. Because without the diagnosis, all you do, you they actually just, you know, we name Nadi back. If you like, Nadi Dark. We just, you know, take a leap of faith and you don't know exactly what you get. Like what they say, it's possible to say na endometriosis, it's possible to something else, it's possible to something even worse. But if you catch them in time, you go help yourself a lot. And there's a lot of treatment with it. So do ya. Well, body, they na na ya for now, and definitely we, we're ready for carry on. When I give you the audience, when I give you the topic, and I guarantee you now, we could do what you go for do. But remember, not seek and not begin suffer in silence because what you do, you get the team we're going to help you. So, well, buddy, I'm better pass the entry and I thank you all for our time and God bless you all. Thank you very much, Dr. Kamara. Um, Dr. Tuwe? Yeah, thank you so much, uh, uh, Dr. Bell, for the presentation. Um, now, uh, I will just talk the possible way talk last. Um, is it Marisa? Okay, about the situation we see. Wait and go see doctor there. Uh, you know the the black people. They you know they you know take them serious. I do agree with Dande, and equally so the black people them they not like for go see doctor them. So, um, in most cases, if you see black person go meet a doctor now, you don't most of say don't really really sick. But the people where they go meet some tanky they not to you know not to black doctor they like like you or occasionally now different like Caucasian them the way then they look into the thing is different so you some thinking that it's fine for persevere you can see the Caucasian colleagues and colleagues and patient there some tell you they shake no more yesterday last night now money don't go book appointment for seeing doctor but then the way the system set up again and also set up and for layer you actually go delve too much into the patient because within 10 minutes what you go go for do you know, so if you if you get the sofa, now you for persevere always for go see the doctor there and always 
tell them, say, this store happened. I don't see this person, that person, that person is still there happen. You can always even ask for, let them refer you if not GP, you go see. You can also ask for, say, like them program, they will give them top endometriosis. They ask them, say, okay, well, like, they're not okay, explore the possibilities with an endometriosis again. This that because until that 10 minutes, the person they go meeting, not even sabi used to be much, you know, we for delve into things. So now you get for persevere. Then now uh, you the black post again. Now uh, for make sure say they go see doctor book appointment because now uh, you right they pay the same tax with the other people and they pay you know, say even more. So you get for explore that opportunity there. Now we know see don't back say because you know black post in and all the they just so okay, well, laugh and other other way. Now uh, you right the NHS day for everybody. So again, uh, as Doctor Kamara say, if people and get topic with them for talk about, we more than willing for talk about her. And, and thank you, Dr. Bell, again, and thank you all for who can join me. So we'll see again in two weeks' time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Tuge. Um, I will go to Dr. Rashid. Uh, good evening. Uh, plenty, plenty thank you to Dr. Bell for this wonderful presentation. Then say information and power. Me personally don't benefit from that. I mean, consulting with uh, Dr. Bell. Just the time we it come to the group, uh, coincidentally, I've been getting from Bruno Salute in the get serious problems, serious bleeding associated with periods. So, of course, when she do not the problem and so you know to know what you for do or who side for send and go. But uh, thanks to God, I consult with Dr. So well, you refer me to somebody. Well, I send me from Bogode, that problem was solved. So it goes to say, we they spend with time now for the information to people. The whole thing is for let people then know what they for do when they encounter them problems. Because some people can suffer, they don't know what they do there or what they for do or what for do. But yeah, they get the information free. So do you want to help me for, for scatter the message and for let more people then come because it's free. And you never know when you need that information. Plenty thank you again to Dr. Bell. And when I thank you, we will now welcome for this. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Rashid. I'm now to go to my boss, Dr. Ansils. <laughs> hey, magic man, you get proof, okay. <laughs> anyway, my family on a good afternoon. Dr. Bell, thank you so much for this presentation. In fact, me not surprised. Now, me say young consultants who are so consult from time to time. I don't expect anything less. But thank you so much to Una all for joining. Um, I want, I mean, want talk with um, Auntie Adam I just talk. Now, me come and put me on up. I don't know who I base if not salon, but I know say you've mentioned that magic man. If you didn't have salon, Dr. Keru share information, make it make use of the opportunity today. And as Dr. Therese F. say, if not to, um, so the, the pain and all relates to immenses, I should say Dr. Keru know how they will move from there. And regarding the support group, as I say, we may get a lot of um, other doctors from Sierra Leone. I mean, see Dr. Fatufona, we based the right now. Um, I see Dr. Godinaris, Dr. Keru, Dr. Francis Smart. I don't know if we all can try for come together and see how best we all can work for form a support group for help with family in a salon. Then lastly to, um, I think, Auntie Marisa also, as Dr. Sugemin don't say, we, we self need for take matters into the hand. If you feel like say the doctor know the answer your question, you know the your problem not the solve, you can go online, try for read, and you self they ask a question, they ask them prescribe medication, just read bottom, if you're not satisfied, ask question, and you can even go to another doctor. If you feel like say you need to get the treatment where you deserve, try for find another doctor, try for take matters into your hand because your health now you now you now your own business. Okay. I know say yes, a lot of the time black people they know they get 
all the attention where they need. Even in Yasosef in America, a black man can go in the emergency room for heart and chest pain. The kind of investigation we then go do for him completely different from where a white man go. So you self get for take matters into your hand and just make sure say you be proactive and make sure say you get answer to your problem. Um, but otherwise, family owner, thank you for joining. Dr. Bell, thank you once more for this presentation. The family owner, not forget, well, body, a better past Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, the boss don't talk. Uh, Dr. Bell? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> you will ask um, I tell you all, thank you for we wanna join. Um, uh, it's um, okay. I mean, it might save me to give the talk, but I mean, um, if I give the talk and nobody really listen, you know, it makes sense for give the talk. So definitely, it's very, very. I glad to say when I all join um, for listening to it, I'm get for saying, and I hope to not able for take the message, go out to other people them, for us for for also help other people them also share we. We, we Facebook um, and we YouTube channel for make people then uh, get the information, not only this information, but all the other information they way who oh, they give fortnightly in this program here. Yeah. So um, concerning um, endometriosis, it's very interesting to say endometriosis now one area than the way we get a lot of awareness and support groups. Um, I just go on Google and I just write endometriosis UK and um, you really get a, a, a website where um, I think the www.endometriosis-uk.org, they, they show you different, different support groups there. Yeah, even in Manchester, get their support group. So, and um, I think they get the meetings there, and then some of, because of COVID, then they get the meetings online now. So you actually get support groups there as well. So even if they suspect, especially with all this talk, so they suspect, say you get endometriosis, you might get help from them people. Then people can even show you, so who say you for go? Because I think one main important thing that they for, for support groups then. Um, if you get the support group, the support group, then exactly they know exactly say, okay, well, if now this year they do, with this year they, they, they feel, go to that doctor there or go to that place there. That place will go, go, go in for advice you more. And then you will get this group people to support you as well. So that makes support groups very important. Yeah. And um, the support group will get um, the, the African Endometriosis Awareness Group. That's even a very, very good group down there. But for UK, I'm gonna just Google. I'm just go any sort of day. If in America you did, just Google um, endometriosis support group USA. You definitely go get something. And if you go and most of them now get websites, then go on the website and it will show you exactly who say you go for go for go get help. You know because yes, it could be endometriosis. It could be something else. But for make people in they suffer because of endometriosis, that is definitely not right. It's not right at all. Yeah. So um, tell her thank you. Hope soon we'll get a good good week. Yeah, and as soon as I know, well body better pass gent. Thank you very much, Dr. Bell. If I'm going to thank you, thank you. Um for now we join later, my name Timujon Fuller. Now thank you very much for joining the Well Body Better Pass Gen TV program. I not get much for say because I believe say all the panelists are not talk with I for say. All that I will say is well body better pass gent. We will see you now again in a fortnight. Good night. Right. Okay, stop. Okay.